Hello YouTube, this is Dragoli from Nets in the Never, and I'm bringing some Crisis 2 Team Instant Action, or TDM for you Call of Duty fans. And here I'm using my cu own custom class with holog- it's a scar with hologram and a reflex sight. And my perks are proximity alarm, which I don't know how it works. And also, I'm also using weapon pro, which makes me reload faster, and stealth enhance, which makes me go in and out of stealth faster. So, here I am submitting a uh, game for the Puck Gaming PC March campaign. <laughs> very, very long title there. But, what they're doing here, I w first want to say thank you Puck Gaming if you upload this. I really appreciate it because I don't have a very big channel and would like to be more noticed to get more subscribers or whatever. But I'm really appreciating what they're doing for the PC community and for PC gaming because for me it feels like PC gaming is getting overlooked by all of the Xbox and PS3 users. And not that many people play on PC compared to something like Xbox 360, which <laughs> I think is one of the biggest well, gaming platforms out there. A lot, a lot of people play that, and I think many people play it because they see something like CNANners or Hutch actual, actual play it. That's what they play on. They don't play on PC. They don't play on PS3 the most. They play on Xbox 360, so I think that's what other people think like, Oh, okay, that's a good console. CNANners plays on that thing. Okay, I need to play on that thing as well so I can play with him or whatever. But it feels like it's getting overlooked because of some of those things. And it feels like gaming developers is pretty much, it might sound a bit weird here, but it's pretty much giving PC users the finger. Because I feel like many developers, well, developers I thought were very good some time ago, like if you ask me like two years ago, I thought that something like Rockstar was a pretty good company and I liked it, but I don't like them that much anymore because of some of the choices that they've made. But it feels like they, for example, gave PC gaming the finger. Because, for example, um, the... What was it? GTA 4, that came out for Xbox 360 and PS3, uh, like, three years ago, I think. And then, almost half a year after the release on PS3 and Xbox 360, the game got released for PC. And what PC gamers got, the PC community, what they got was basically just a bad port of their, well, Xbox and PS3 game. They didn't do much extra work to make it, well, work better with the PC. They just basically took it, put in some new controls, and then they just released it. That's how I feel. The game is good, but it doesn't work that well for PCs, because it's very lacky. The controls are very, very slow reacting. It doesn't have very good controls at all. And... Well, the game lags a lot. Even if I try to set down the setting, it still lags. Like, it's not meant to run on a, P on a PC. And also, another thing Rockstar G GameStock did is something that I'm very, very annoyed about. And still, to this day, it's some of, I think, one of the most annoying things to me that they did for the PC users. And it's about the game Red Dead Redemption. And if you don't know Red Dead Redemption, it's basically what's become the game of the year on many, many awards. It's a very, like, it, the basic thing to say is like GT4 in a Western world, but then not quite. It's much more different, it's much more refined and focused on good story and all of that stuff. But before that game came out, like a month before or something, I was get really, really excited about it. I didn't know it wasn't coming out for the PC at that time. And I was watching trailers, interviews, whatever. I watched everything and I thought the game was cool. I couldn't wait for it. And I never really noticed that down at the bottom it didn't say PC or whatever at the end of trailers or whatever. I didn't see that. I thought it was coming out for the PC until I had a talk with some school friends. We, me and some of my gamer friends talked about the game and whatever. And then I actually found out that the game is not, uh, has not, and at that time is not coming out for the PC, and at that point I just exploded, I became very, very angry at Rockstar, and I immediately, when I got home, I got around on, uh, like, 15 or 10 websites or something, trying to check if this really was true, if the game wasn't coming out for PC, because at that point I was very, very, very frustrated, because the game looked so awesome, and I couldn't really believe that it wasn't coming out for the PC, I mean, why not? I don't think it's that much harder to 
programming game to work for the PC as well. So at th that point, I really just started hating Rockstar, and I don't play GTA that much anymore. Well, it's been a very, very long time since I've played it. I do own a PS3 now. I got it, or my parents actually bought it like a few months ago now, and I have played Red Dead Redemption. I think it's a great game, but even though, even when I've tried and seen how great game it is, it basically just makes me more angry that I couldn't get to play it earlier, that they didn't just release it for the PC, and made a PC version of the game for us. But also some other things I'm very that I don't or that makes me annoyed about developers is how they make like bad ports of games for PC. Like I said, um, the GTA 4 was a very bad port for the PC users. And also some developers just at one point they make a game. They have a very great series that started on the PC, and the PC community loves it. That's where everything started. But then they make a game that's console exclusive and PC gets ver PC community gets very, very angry and then maybe the company earns a lot more money so now they start making the game, they develop the games for the consoles and then they also make like a bad port for the PC users not to make them as angry as they were when they released a console exclusive version or a console exclusive part of the series like I believe it's Call of Duty 3, maybe it's Call of Duty 2, I don't know for sure. But also Battlefield Bad Company 1, that was also just released for the consoles. But, that, something like that really annoys me, and talking about bad ports, some bad ports for me are Modern Warfare 2 and Black Call of Duty Black Ops. I mean, Modern Warfare 2, it did work pretty good, but they didn't add that much PC support like for example mods and custom maps that's a thing that pc the pc community loves that's something pretty much every game has for pc and it does work well with mods and stuff like that just take a look at valve and how good they've become they most of their company actually is is modders they started out just two people and then they brought in modders from or people that modder from their first game half life one they brought those into their company and I think a really big part of their company is actually modders so there are very good modders out there and there are very good mods like this the best example I have is Valve they release their source code they give people that or the community the chance to make mods and it works out great for them there is really pretty much no problems with it so I don't get why all the people can't do that I don't even think there are mods for like Call of Duty Black Ops, and that's what Treyarch promised that they promised us a very good, well polished PC version of the game of Black Ops. But if you ask me, they didn't hold that promise. I mean, they gave us the finger because they promised us to have mods, they promised us to have a very, very polished version of the game. And of course, there were bugs on both the consoles and on the PC, but some things the consoles got that we didn't get. For example, if we tried, if I tried to play with my one of my friends, who's called Bam, um, we pretty much can't get in the same. Well, we can't get in the same game, but over half the time we're on opposite teams, which means we can't play together. And when we get on the same team, it doesn't even show us, show me like that's him. That now I know where he is. It doesn't show like a blue arrow or something like it does on the consoles. They have added that now with a single patch, but. Some other th stuff they haven't fixed yet, like for example, wager matches on Xbox 360 or PS3. You can choose how much money, or you have a bit of control how much money you want to bid in that you're going to win. But for PC, you can only bid like 500. But and then you can end up getting like 1,500 of those card points. But that's not that much if you think about what um, well, Xbox 360 players can get if they like do a high roll or double down or something where they bid like two that twenty thousand or whatever and they win lots and lots of points if they actually win it. But thankfully there are still some good PC developers like Blizzard and Valve and I really love those developers. Even Valve makes games or makes their games for PS3 and Xbox Two, but they make good versions for PC. They make polished versions for PC that I really enjoy but I have to end this now although I could talk for like five minutes more or something thank you for watching please if you enjoyed this go check out my channel 
and I really appreciate to get some more subscribers. And if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or anything, just comment down below. I try to um, talk with my subscribers, try to talk with you guys. I want to talk, I want to hear you guys' opinions. So please just comment down below if you have anything to say. And as I said, remember to go check out my channel and subscribe, hopefully. And I'll see you guys later.